We'll guide you through how to download and install DaVinci Resolve 19 on a Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. DaVinci Resolve is a great free video editing program, so let's go and get it. First of all, you need to go and open up a web browser. I'll just go and use Safari. And we're just on a search engine right now. Now let's go and type in DaVinci Resolve like so. You want to scroll down and the website is Blackmagic Design. They're the developers, so you can go and click there. Then what you can do is go and start scrolling down and you want to go and locate the option free download now. You can go and tap there. On the left, this is the free version of DaVinci Resolve. You've got the studio, which is the paid version to the right. So you can press Mac OS X and now we need to fill in our details. After you've entered your details, press register and make sure you allow the downloads and it'll then go and start downloading. This is the three gigabyte download, so it will take a bit of time to download. When it's finished, you can go and open up your finder in your dock in the bottom left, click on downloads, and then we can go and run the DMG here. So what you need to do is then double tap install resolve, and it's gonna go and start the installer. Now we can go through this. So we can go and press continue. Make sure you go and read through this, I already have. Then what you can do is press continue. You need to make sure you agree to the license. I've read it and I agree to it, so I'll press continue. I need to confirm your decision here. And now we can press install and we'll need to enter in our password and the process will then go and begin. You can wait. It was successful, so we can go and press close and we can press move to bin. And so now we can go and click on the search in the top and I can go and type in DaVinci Resolve, press enter and we can go and open it up and go and start using it. I can go and create a new project and I can now start adding media and editing. If you found this useful, then leave a like.